Well, good morning, everyone. Tom Dennison here with Big Deal Production, and I would like to introduce my uh, business partner, who you probably already know, would be Brian Douglas. He's invisible. Wait a minute. Actually, uh, something very interesting has occurred. Uh, we have gotten so busy that we have two engagements this weekend. Uh, Brian is out filming a motivational seminar uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I am here at the track at Boswick and filming uh, motocross. So uh, I'm probably going to be out there with the camera a lot. Uh, then back here in the uh, booth, and processing the uh, photos up and then getting them out and getting them uh, for folks to hopefully buy. You know, Bosswood Creek, second round of the uh, Florida Georgia series. The first round was in Orlando, we were out there. Uh, we did Florida Trail Riders a couple weeks ago, which was a lot of fun uh, in Peterback. But here we are back at our, what we consider our home track here at uh, Bosswood Creek. So, uh, you know, that's, that's what I'm doing today. So. Uh, Invisible Brian, what are you doing today? Thanks, Tom. What's up, guys? Brian Douglas here, Big Deal Production. I am in a giant empty room, as you can see here. So, what I'm doing this weekend is I am actually filming a seminar by this guy. I am going to just show you guys around, see what, we, what we've got set up here. Audio, one of the most important things you could have at a seminar you got to have good audio. I'm sure you can probably hear me right now, and it's very equi. So that is what we're doing here. He's got a lapel mic. So we get the audio, we put it into the recording, uh, the recording setup, and then I take it home and I can actually tweak it, add effects to it. I can make him sound like the Grim Reaper. I don't know. So we're making a podcast for him so he can sell that. The other thing is lighting. Lighting is very important. As you can see here, what this does if you look, see the soft light that's coming off my face right here? That's it right there, that is the key. Because you can probably see on this side of my face, it's very red. It doesn't make good uh, video at all. So have that light, nice little soft light on the side. And then when I come this way, when I'm filming, you can actually see a little bit of a lens flare. And that makes for really, really good videography. So when I do a close up, when he's talking about something very personal, I can zoom in at this angle and I can get those lens flares and, and have a really close up. You can see like into his eyes and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty magical. I do slider shots. So what I do is I, I get into the crowd kind of like this and I slide. And what I've been using is this guy right here. Uh, this is our newest slider. I talked about it in one of our other videos. Absolutely incredible. Loving every bit of it. Uh, these guys right here are stability arms that we just bought for it. And they're working out really well because it's a 42 inch slider. It's, it's a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be because we, we've never actually filmed a seminar. And uh, one of the things that I noticed was you have to read the moment. You have to understand what he's saying and how the crowd, how the audience is perceiving it. And then you have to capture it at the perfect moment. You have to see the aha, you know, the, 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 the light bulb go off in their eyes and, and you know, you show that really amazing expression. So now I've got two cameras. You guys have seen these before. This is the Sony NEX FS700. Uh, of course, we've got our VidPro XM55 uh, fluffy mic that we're using as well. I've got two of those. I have one that faces like this, and then I can zoom in and actually follow him. He's got a display here, so what I do is I crank down the ISO on one of the cameras so that you can see it because he doesn't turn the lights off. Not really sure why. But uh, so I've got that, and then the other angle that I've got is right about over here right now I'm getting ready to film uh, some individual testimonials but this is pretty much the other angle that I get uh, one of the things if you are uh, a videographer one of the important things is 
subliminal messaging. So if you look right here, I'm filming right behind one of his banners. That is subliminal messaging because eventually at some point you're gonna read what it says behind me if it's not blurry. I don't know about the bokeh, uh, my depth of field, but um, another thing is I'll be filming like this and guess who you can see? Will, you can see the speaker. Stuff like that. These are the type of things that you want to capture in the background very, very subtly. And that, my friends, is how you film a seminar. So that's it for me. I'm gonna send you back to Tom. And I'm sure he's having a lot more fun at the motocross park than I am sitting here at the Fairfield Inn in Jacksonville. Back to you, Tom. All right, it's about two hours since I made my last entry. Been out on the track taking pictures, took about, oh, 800 or so. So it's a win-lose situation. If I don't do it, we have nothing to sell. So gotta do it. And I get to sit in here in the air conditioning for a little while because, man, it's getting hot out there. It's probably almost 80 and it's uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. Brian, I'm sure, is uh, nice and cool in his air-conditioned, clean classroom. Uh, I'm dirty as hell. I finally got all the pictures cataloged. Ugh, hate doing that. I'd rather be out taking pictures, but if, if we don't catalog them, we have nothing to sell. They are exporting so we can put them out on our uh, screensaver, out on the desk so people can actually see their pictures that's about it. I'm just going to go ahead and finish exporting. It's about an hour and a half left to practice and as soon as this is done I'm heading back out for more pictures. Wish me luck. Alright, I'm back out here on the track. Uh, finished processing the first batch of pictures. I just did a bad thing. You can imagine they might kick up a little bit of dust. They kicked up a little bit of dust and all floated over the track. Little guys, not the little little guys, but the uh, you know, probably 250s, something like that, 50s. I don't know. I just shoot moving objects. They're out on the track and uh, I'm going to take pictures of them. See you later. Something you don't want to experience at a motocross track. One of our favorite riders, someone we've, we've known for a while and done business with and done videos for, he went down right in front of me. The bike was down in the middle of the track and the poor kid was thrown off to the side of the track. The bike landed right in the middle. I hopped on the ATV and went down to the main camp and got help. Got back up here. The poor kid was still unconscious. He was just starting to come around. By that point, the medics got here as well. Um, looks like he might have something with his leg. Um, that's part of what we do out here. If we see him in trouble, we help him out. Um, you know, we're not trained medics. We don't do anything like that, but we'll get help if help is needed. I hope he's okay. I'm going now. Alright, so uh, neither one of us got a chance to film a closing no. to uh, our production life. No, that just went And of course the lights just went out. That's alright, so if you're not seeing anything, it's because it's dark. I just got home from um, Boswick, where uh, we like I said earlier, we divided and conquered. Um, I am extremely dirty. It was so dusty there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just hit me and I'll just poof. Um, and it, but it was good. We, uh, we just did pictures this weekend and we made some good money just doing pictures this weekend. Uh, and it was, it was very busy. Uh, for Boswick, it was very, very busy. All of the parking was taken. All the parking was taken. Wow, really? Yeah. Right on. I mean, we were, the trailer was blocked in. That's another reason I couldn't leave until, <laughs> until then. I, I parked it. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> so, how did, here, you hold this. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I didn't get to film a lot of my 
uh, adventure at the uh, the shift event, um, the conference over uh, at the Fairfield uh, Marriott Suites, whatever. But um, it was uh, it was a totally new experience for us, which was awesome. Uh, we got a ton of networking done with people that actually want to spend money on like high dollar money on uh, some of the uh, things that we have to offer. So. I'm super excited about it. Um, it was a lot of work. Um, I know I'm not nearly as dirty as this guy, um, but I, I bet I'm, I'm equally tired. Uh, it was it was pretty exhausting, um, but uh, overall, I think I think we did pretty damn good this weekend for splitting up. Yeah, we did. I really feel good about it. Yeah. We, do I want to do it again? No. No. <laughs> yeah, filming. Uh, Doing anything with motocross with two people is hard enough. Yeah. With one person, it's near impossible. Uh, I was either out shooting photos, in editing photos, and cataloging them, sitting at the booth selling photos, uh, or just do it all over again kind of thing. <laughs> Rinse, repeat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, we did well. And we uh, got some new subscribers to our... Uh, to our YouTube channel too while we were there. That's awesome. And again, when you guys see this, uh, make sure, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel because we got some pretty awesome content. Mm -hmm. It is I pretty agree. awesome. And if you see us out and about, come up to us, subscribe. And give us money. What? Because we're poor. Well, yeah, you could give us money, but I was going to say if you subscribe, you might get a surprise. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Children may be watching. It's not perverted. You're saying this is true. <laughs> yeah, good point. The raffle tickets. Yes. <laughs> We're giving away a Visa gift card. So if you see us, uh, make sure you stop by and uh, subscribe, and we'll give you a raffle ticket. So, um, again, very excited about what we did. A lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, but this was a, a pretty large milestone, I feel like. For our company yeah and personally uh i had to wrangle the trailer for the first time all by myself yeah and i had absolutely no problem this That's guy's good. a pretty good teacher uh and I, I pretended yeah <laughs> i was like yeah you just pu push the back end left to right yeah. you just you got this it's yeah. the opposite of, of the the way you turn normally yeah i think it's in our spot <laughs> it's probably in wisconsin right yeah. now I don't know. All right, I'm going to go shower. Yes. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we hope you uh, like this. It's a different production line because we split it up. It's two, yeah. two different things. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, you guys keep doing what you're doing. We're, We're out. out.